Hello students, Pal Tapanansi, Unit 3, Accounts of Partnership Forms. Illustration from 8. From the following balance sheets of Sudha and Sudha who share profits and losses equally. Now they have given the balance sheet of Subha and Sudha. So Subha and Sudha is the partner. Their balance sheets are given to us and then they have mentioned profit and losses are shared equally. So, 1 is to 1. Their profit sharing ratio is 1 is to 1. In that case, 1 by 2 for Subha and 1 by 2 for Sudha. And calculate interest on capital at 6% per annum. Now, they ask us to calculate interest on capital at 6% per annum for the year ending 31st December 2017. Are I informed you, 31st December 2017 is the end date mean opening date is 1 1 2017 so the academic year ending date is given as 31st December 2017 from that we have calculated the opening capital sorry opening date of business commencement now you see here the balance sheet dated is 31st December 2017 is given so liabilities and assets are given here then drawings of Subha and Sudha during the year were 2500 and 3500 respectively so during the academic year during the year is given the date is not given so during the year they withdrawn amount rupees 2500 from the business firm then 3500 by Sudha they have taken their personal use profit earned during the year was rupees 15,000 now you see here they ask us to calculate interest and capital only so the last sum what we have did we have calculated the interest and capital from the amount invested from the capital amount invested now you see here when you are going to calculate the interest and capital the capital amount should be opening capital amount opening capital amount so you see here the balance sheet is given on closing dated balance sheet is given in that case here the 15,000 and 20,000 is given the two capital amounts are end that is closing dated capital amount closing dated capital amount from that we have to calculate the opening capital we have to calculate the opening capital there are two ways to calculate the opening capital one is statement of affairs statement of affairs Otherwise, we have to prepare the statement of profit or loss. Statement of profit or loss. Now, we are going to prepare the statement of profit or loss. Because we have the details related to closing capital and drawings made during the year and profit earned. So, we are going to use profit or loss statement to calculate the opening capital. Now, you see here, the statement of profit or loss. In the first chapter, we have learned particulars ruby symbol is given closing capital now we know the closing capital what is the closing capital 15,000 for Subha and 20,000 for Sudha so we know the closing capital then drawings drawings also we know that how much they have taken by each partner so we know the drawings also then additional capital additional capital is not given the sum so no need to bother about it then opening capital that we have to find it now profit or loss so you see here we know the profit the profit earned during the year was 15,000. Now you see here, during the year, the business firm earned 15,000 as profit. In that case, the 15,000 should be equally divided by the two partners because both are sharing the profit and losses equally. So 15,000 into 1 by 2. In that case, 7,500 for each partner. 7,500 for each partner. So now we are going to prepare the statement of, sorry, Statement of profit or loss. Statement of profit or loss. Now I have drawn the format for you. Particulars, Subha, Sudha. At the same time, I am going to calculate for both partners. So capital on 31st December 2017. Capital on 31st December 2017 is for Subha 15,000. 15,000 recorded. Then Sudha 20,000. 20,000 also recorded. Now we have to add the drawings with the closing capital. What is the drawing amount for Subha? 2500. 2500 is recorded. For Sudha? 3500. 3500 is recorded. Now we are going to add the closing capital with drawings. So when I am going to add it for Subha, 0, 0, 5, 5, 
5 plus 2, 7, 1. So we got amount 70,500. In the same way, we have to add it for Sudha also. 0, 0, 5, comma, 3, 2. So we got amount 23,500. Then we have to subtract the capital on 1 1 2017. We doesn't know this value. This value only we are going to find it. So the, the blank can be left it as such. The next what is what you know the data? Profit. So profit made during the year 15,000. It is divided by the it is divided among the partners equally. So for each partner we have to enter the amount 7,500. So now we have to find the missing figure. Already we know that in first chapter we have calculated the missing figures. Now we see here from this amount x is subtracted in that time you got the profit amount 7500 that is plus 7500 in that case the available data that is adjusted closing capital the adjusted closing capital is more than the opening capital more than the opening capital in that case you see here just you subtract the adjusted closing capital from this profit so 17500 minus 7500 17500 minus 7500 in that time got the value as 10000 for the value as 10000 now you subtract 17500 minus 10000 you got the value as 7500 so we got the answer the same way 23500 from that x value is subtracted in that time you got the value as 7500 that case the x value we doesn't know but from the closing adjusted closing capital when you are going to subtract this profit you will get this x value so 23500 minus 7500 0 0 5 5 cancelled 3 so 13 13 minus 7 6 you got the value 1 so 16000 you got the value so now you see here capital on 1 1 2017 we calculated then now they ask us to prepare interest and capital for opening capital only we can calculate the interest and capital now we are going to calculate the interest and capital for Suba 10,000 is the opening capital Sudha 16,000 is the opening capital now you see here calculation of interest and capital calculation of interest and capital Suba interest and capital is equal to how much Suba invested 10,000 so 10,000 into 6 by 100 that is 6 percentage in the same way Sudha interest and capital is equal to investment amount into 6 by 100 so Sudha capital amount is opening capital amount is 16,000 16,000 it is given here now you see here 20 20 it is cancelled so 100 into 6 600 rupees 600 then the same way for Sudha also we have to calculate the interest on capital 2020 20 it's cancelled. So 160 into 6 6 into 0 6 6 is 36 6 is written here then 166 6 plus 3 9 so 960 so, rupees 960 then you write the value interest on capital Subhas equal to rupees 600 Sudha is equal to rupees 960 so in this sum they have given the balance sheet of closing dated balance sheet from the closing dated balance sheet with the available data we calculated the opening capital first from the opening capital we calculated the interest on capital